Hello and welcome to our first Paperless 2.0 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn about the system requirements, how to download and install Paperless, how to create and password protect libraries, and how to set up your scanner. Let's get started. In terms of system requirements, you need to be running Mac OS 10.6 or higher. Now you can tell which version of the Mac operating system you're running by clicking on the Apple menu and choosing About This Mac. Next, the amount of hard disk space required to run paperless depends on the size and the type of files you want to store. The software takes up around 30 megabytes of hard disk space. To find out how much space you have, from the Go menu, choose Home, and then look down at the bottom of the window. As you can tell, I have plenty of space. Let's go to the Mariner software site. Now, we hope that you'll visit this site often and find out about the rest of the software that we offer, but for now, let's concentrate on Paperless. Click on the Download button. The download page appears. Scroll down to Paperless and click on the link. Now, if you're new to Mariner software or if you've reset your browser lately, you'll need to fill out this information. Fill out your first name, your last name, your email address, indicate the operating system you're running, and then click on the Submit button. You'll receive an email from us asking you to confirm your address. Click on the link provided. Once you're back at the download page, click on the paperless link to start the download. The download window appears and the software will be downloaded to your computer. Now depending on the connection speed, the download time will vary. Once the software has been downloaded to your computer, this installer window will appear. Simply drag the paperless icon over to the Application Shortcut folder, double-click on the Application Shortcut folder, locate Paperless in your Applications folder, and then drag your icon onto the dock for easy launching. Now installing Paperless from the CD works the same way. Slide the CD into your drive label side up. Once the CD icon appears on your desktop, double-click on it, and then continue through the rest of the installation process. Now if you've downloaded Paperless, the security window will appear. Click on the Open button. The License Agreement window appears. Review the License Agreement, and then click on the Agree button. The welcome window appears and there are three options. The Buy Now button takes you to our eStore to purchase a serial number. The Not Yet button allows you to continue running paperless until the trial period expires. To enter a serial number so that you can continue to use paperless until after the trial period expires, click on the Enter Serial button. To complete the serialization process, enter your name, the company name if applicable, Enter the serial number exactly the way you received it from us, including any dashes and capitalization, and then click on the OK button. If you'd like to be reminded to do a backup of your libraries, click the Yes button. To create a library, first make sure that the empty library box is checked. To encrypt your library, click the Encrypt Library checkbox. To pre-populate information for merchants and categories to be used in the Receipts area, click the corresponding checkboxes. Now, click the Create button. Now, if you've chosen to encrypt your library, choose a password that you'll remember, enter it into the Password and in the Verify fields, and then click on the OK button. The last step in creating a library is to create a library name, Specify the location through the pull-down menu, and then click the Create button. The first run window appears. Now, if you'd like Paperless to import your PDFs from your Documents folder into your library, click the Yes button. Now, depending on the number of files you have in your folder, this process could take a few moments. Choosing Preferences under the Paperless menu gives you the ability to configure your scanner. 
Clicking on the Scanner tab at the top of this window takes you into the Scanner Preferences area. If your scanner is Twain compliant and compatible with Paperless, the Use Twain Drivers radio button will be checked, and the Scanner pull-down list will display your scanner. The Mode area allows you to choose between memory-based or native modes. Choose the mode that works best for you by selecting it from the pull-down menu. The Image Quality area allows you to determine the quality of your scanned images. Now keep in mind that the image quality and the size of the image increases as you slide the slider to the right and decreases it if you drag it to the left. Now if your scanner has an automatic document feeder, check the corresponding checkbox. If you'd like to be prompted to turn the page over to scan the other side, check the Prompt for Second Side checkbox. To have Paperless autocrop your images, click the Autocrop Images checkbox. Now, if you don't have a Twain compliant scanner or are having problems with your scanner communicating with Paperless, try clicking the Image Capture radio button. The final area of the Scanner Preferences area deals with the Fujitsu Scan Snap line of scanners. If you have one, make sure that the Use Scan Snap Scanner button is selected. We've provided a shortcut button to launch the Scan Snap Manager software. Now, to use the Paperless default profile, Click on the default profile checkbox. And if you want Paperless to do a duplex scan, click the corresponding checkbox. Scanning items into Paperless is easy. Simply load the item into your scanner, click the scan button, and follow any prompts directed by your scanner software to complete the scan. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. For more information, consult the Help section. You can also check out our knowledge base online, email us with any questions, or find us on iChat. We're ready to help. For now, though, make it a paperless day.